Hey, any lovers, welcome back to Any Buffet. Today we're checking out Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden. If you're a fan of like XCOM type games, you're gonna love this game. It really is quite cool. It's got a nice story, good explanation, stealth, all those kind of things that you want to do that normally you would find in XCOM. It, you control these mutants, which are obviously the duck and the pig and all these little things. Um, it, it really is a lot of fun, honestly. I really, I, I had last last time I guys played, it was a lot of fun. So I don't want to show it to you guys. I, I like to go back and check out these games every so often, and be able to bring these to you, so you guys can be like, oh wow, yeah, this game is really cool. I never actually saw this game. So we're gonna hop in here, check out this game for a little while. If you do like it, of course, please go ahead and click the links down below. Enemies deal more damage, stalkers are 50 percent health after combat. Okay, let's do that. Let's do hard. Why not? Can't promise I'm gonna be good at it, but I'll do hard. Yeah, this game, uh, last time I remember playing it, I, I think I played it for like an eight hour session last time I played it. Literally, one just, I, I got into the game once and I just went, okay, and I just started playing another it. Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, Ducks, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again. And Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Yeah. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on, we gotta head back before Prep closes for the night. So now you see you get to get a little exploring me, here. Annoying. Shut the hell up. Wanna it's see a little annoying? exploring annoying. annoying. <laughs> you can do your own little thing here. We're in the zone. Keep your eyes open and mouth shut. Yeah, you only told me that nine thousand times already, Borman. Turn off your flashlight. You can sneaky, sneaky. Oh. I don't recall him. There we go. Just looking around, looking around, just looking for something to grab on the ground. There's usually little secrets and stuff on the ground. Return to the Ark. Okay, let's go. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought there was stuff on the ground for this. Look at this. Beautiful. Rare Just scrap. Beautiful. There the we go. Scrap, scrap can be changed for weapons, consumables, and outfits in the arc shop. Okay, cool. The air stinks like mutants. Not just any mutants. Stalkers. Tight muscles. Good meat. I smell it too. Where there's stalkers, there's arc. Where there's arc, there's killing time for Skizzix and Treble. Oh, they're close, 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 close. Over there. Come, brother. I'm on their trail. Let's ambush them. Tactical combat. Combat is turn based. Each stalker gets two action points per turn. Some actions, such as shooting, throwing, and sprinting, will end the turn once used. Let's do it. Down. Stay down. The enemy heard me. That's okay. Dox was caught sneaking. Let's do it. Oh, wait, but it went through him. Does that count? <laughs> you little tricksy scammer. Low cover grants a 25% defense bonus when full cover grants a. Okay. Flanking and cover position will cancel his defensive bonus. Nice. Like, you mean like him? Ha <laughs> ha 
Now that was a good kill. Never seen ghouls this far south before, right in our neighborhood. I love that. I don't like it. Broiler 50. One additional critical damage. 50% chance to burn enemies. Ooh. Upgrade weapons at Delta's workshop. Nice. Ooh, let's investigate this. That's a... That's a... We saw one of these things once. Filled with zone dogs, right? Oof. The ancients sure knew how to build big pieces of garbage. I heard something moving. Old tool scrap. Anything over here? Hmm. Yeah, see, unlike XCOM, this has a lot more exploring outside of combat. Which I like. So you guys get a chance to be able to come in here, check out the whole game, check out the area. I thought there was something more here, but I'm guessing not. Let's just keep moving. I see red up there. Hold it. Bulls. I don't like the look of that big one. We have to be sneaky. Uh oh. Okay. Here's the plan. We turn off our lights, then hug the water. Go around them. Why does I want to kill them? Enemies of the Red Skull are too high level for your team and will kill you. Avoid Red Skull enemies and explore the zone, finding counters that match your team's level. Oh. I will rip off their tiny stalker arms and beat their faces till they die. Oh my god, level 55. No one loves a stalker. Give me the stalkers. Let them come. Where are you? Ark don't even love I'm gonna save the game here. Stalkers. <laughs> Weapon parts five. I just gotta grab that real fast. Keep going. Oh, I thought I thought for sure they're behind me, but it's my duck friend. It's duck. Time to go shack now. The arcs up ahead. Home sweet home. Oh, I'm gonna kiss that elevator when I see it. Get upstairs, take a bath, get a grog with the boys. Get another grog with the boys. Foot massage. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. All the good stuff? The campsite. Looks like a family lived here. Oh no. Lived here and died here. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. Oh, you can use medkit anytime to heal your stalkers in inventory. Healing outside the combat already fills you to full health. Oh nice. Poor family. Ooh, that stuff over here though. See, I'm, when you put me in an exploring game, I'm gonna explore it. Pretty much everything, so just be ready. See, I don't want to miss any of my stuff. I could be missing like a secret weapon. I'm guessing scrap is probably the currency. Anything over here? No. Oh, this is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Oh yeah, this is definitely a thing. There's a cabin up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in, guns blazing? Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. Deal. If you're undetected, you can scope out enemies' positions and kill isolated weak enemies using your silent weapons. This can tip the balance of the fight in your favor by reducing overall enemy numbers. Stay put. Let's do that.
Hungry. Hungry. I says we take the ark. Taste the mutants. <laughs> Love me some mutants. <laughs> there we go. Rip their hearts. Crush Ooh, them. Okay, let's see if I can't sneak them around a little bit here. Oh. looking this way? Okay, they can see that. Um... Can I go a different way over here? Nope, can't go this way. I gotta do this way again. Okay, let's go back in here and let's make sure he hides. Activating this unit will engage it into combat, ignoring it will allow you to keep it hidden in the same location for later. Oh, my crossbow is silent, so I should have moved him in. There's something up here before I passed. There we go. Okay, so let's get my duck back down there because he has, he has the silent stuff. And we'll silently start taking out people. Just sneaking, don't mind me. Nothing over here but me and the birds. Ah, ah. Is that convincing? Oh, that worked. Sorry about that. Ooh. Oh, am I glad that worked? When your soccer team levels up, each mutant gains mutation points. Mutation points can be used to unlock powerful combat mutations or to improve your stalker stats such as health or movement range. Mutations are either major, minor, or passive. Only one of each can be set in your loadout. Stat bonuses are permanent and can always apply regardless of loadout. Your loadout can change can be changed in inventory any time outside of combat. Oh. Cost two, but I only have one point, right? Yeah, I have one point. Ooh, he has a health booster. Let's do that one. Okay. 100% critical chance, 25% accuracy. Enhanced critical chance allows you to pop the head of an enemy as easy as popping the boils on Borman's pack. This this wall behavior costs you some accuracy. Oh. There we go. I was like, what's in my inventory right now?
Hmm. Okay, so I can look at this. So here's what we do. Ready? Hunter has six. Is there anyone else over here? Okay, I should check. I should check if there's anyone else first. Let's get this open. Ooh, what's this? Can destroy covers. It's a gapper. Can destroy covers, knocks back enemies, damage takes, crit seven. This gas powered cannon, humorously named after the type of damage it has been known to deliver, launches fat, chunky shells. But a gapper loses, then suddenly it gains back in power. Can knock back at most enemies. Oh. So now, I have the scatter gun. There we go. Here's both. Just in case. Hmm. Okay, let's get him in range real fast. Oh, out here. Let's see. Anything else? Such no. Is there anything inside the? We can usually hide inside here. I'm not gonna try it. That'd be funny though. That's funny. Okay, so let's do save game, so we don't like completely screw us up. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sneak around here. Let's get as close as possible for this gun. And then we're gonna ambush. You've not been spotted yet. Poor everyone was caught sneaking. I don't care. Goodbye, baby. That's how we roll. Bingo. Ooh. Well, he's gonna get a chance to go, isn't he? Oh, ow. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Nailed it. Ooh, broken gun and grenade. Over here. Let's regroup. Boom box. Plus one, use artifact points to buy upgrades in the art. Look nice. At this beauty. The ancients left a lot of ugly junk behind, but once in a while you see something like this. Wonder what these buttons are for. <laughs> Wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right. They use box. Touch that red button, and it goes boom. But no, it's Don't not. The boom box. I mean, it's a boom box. Is. We'll so. bring it back to the Ark and show it to Prip. Ask him what it's worth on the black market. Is he already... Oh yeah, look at this. He's already ready. Allows you to fly. He grows wings? This guy's more tanky, so I put him in the web in the front. Oh, 
was making sure I got everything, that's all. See, look, I already missed this. With a tree house. Is that a tree house? I want to get like an actual sniper rifle into his hand. Like sniper rifle with a crossbow. I feel like that'd be awesome. You know, that'd be really nice to just have both of those. Have him as an actual sniper. Of course the world ends. You did it to us. Mm hmm? When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. Define thriving. Is that what happened? They got mutated the by the Ark? Or by the outpost. thing? A lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one. With the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave. Because outside these walls lies the zone. The never-ending wasteland. Oh, okay. A mass grave spanning the planet. Littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone, and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot, and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. <laughs> if the stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least, that's what the Elder says. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. Such a good intro. Uh, that's... Working artifacts are rare in the zone. It can be exchanged for black market favors in Crips Bar. Sweet home. The elevator's up ahead. The Ark outskirts. Okay. Oh, let's see an overview. Okay. Require zone key. Oh. Two ghouls. See them? What are those rod heads up to? Wait. They're planning to ambush the elevator. We've got to stop them. Let's sneak around and see if there's others.
Let's see if we got something useful. What we got in here? 20. Ooh. I'll put that in the duck, obviously. It's a grand shame to, for the, with this to barter. Delta would have surely given up the discount she mentioned. So here's the deal. A working spark machine lies to the east of the iron serpent within the scrap ruins. It was one of those devices of burning things together or whatnot. But of course, there's no silver lining without a fucking cloud above it. Them damn ghoul bastards who lurk in the ruins came on and chased us away before we could recover it. Next time ghouls would get you. Oh, Clara. Should probably equip this the duck so he has a little more range. Got a poker head. Hmm. Let's save here. I know, I'm one of those savers, I'm sorry. This looks like there's a battle, there's gonna be a battle, big battle here. Box opens. We go in the box. Box goes in the ark. We take their food, we take their guns. Millions in the ark. Too many, too many. Mutants are weak. We kill some fast, we kill some slow. But we kill them all! Fox is coming. We killed them all. <laughs> Interesting. Is that all we got? Those two? Oh, there we go. Critical hit. Damn, I'm good. Got him. There's another one over there too. Regroup. That's a good start. This is what I did with the XCOM 2 when I played it. Save, 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 you know? Ooh, a chest. Yeah, yeah, prize Let's see what this time. Is. Ooh, plus one armor, two HP. Ooh, yes. Um, yeah, we're gonna go put that on our tank boy. That's a tank boy now. I mean, no matter what, we gotta take care of those guys. our zone key so we can't do anything so let's go take care of those boys because we can't just leave that them out there
you know, want to. Don't go swimming. Broken gun part over here. Bad guys over here. I think we got what we needed. I think it's just these guys now. Wait here. Oh no, there's somebody here. I hope the enemy heard me. I hope the enemy heard me. <laughs> I, I hope the enemy heard me. <laughs> I hope they heard me. Over here. I don't like the ghouls being this close to the ark. Inside the elevator, so we can get to safety. I hope they heard me. I think we're good here. Yeah, it's a travel right there. All right, but I'm going to end the video here. But thank you so much for checking out this, this game. I hope this brings some interest to this game too. Because it is a phenomenal tactical phenomenal tactical game um, that I'm going to play more of some coming down the way running gun yeah I love that he gets it now you get enough you send your body can trigger a burst of reserve stamina which will you perform an action afterwards I like that you're invincible for one turn. He just becomes this tank. He's just, it's just a pure tank. And he can fly. Yeah, he just becomes this ridiculous sniper near the end, too. Alright, folks. I will see you again in the next one. Thank you so much. Peace.